Hello, my name is Eddie Tofpik. I'm Head of Technical Analysis and Senior Markets Analyst at ADM Investor Service International Limited. Here is your daily technical analysis of LME 3 marf Copper and Aluminium. LME 3 marf Copper. A significant move below the very important lower bull channel line yesterday, currently at 83.36 of the broken, seemingly since repaired, now breached again bull channel. And that's between 83.36 and 94.18, which is highlighted in dark blue on my daily chart. We haven't really broken this bull channel again, not yet, but it seems that is what the market wishes to do. It also opens the door to look at the mid-April today actions of possible bearish half hesitation, which may possibly morph into a double bottom if we get low enough. Interestingly, the market closed on the next support level below, which is the January 2021 high, 82.39, despite breaching it. And so far today, an interesting piece of action, a slightly lower open below the January 2021 high, followed by a push down through the next support at 81.77. Now, below this, we next have some May-based congestion in the 81.10 to 81.15 zone, with a lesser Fibonacci line lower down at 80.16. But there's not that much support below until we get below 8,000. LME 3 month aluminium. An immediate countering bearish haram yesterday in response to the previous session's bullish opening white marabozo. Prices nevertheless initially continued the previous session's rise, but that petered out at some recent congestion and of all things an approach to the declining short moving average currently at 22.18 before dropping down and closing below the August 2018 high congestion at 21.78. Below we now have the late October 2022 20, low at 2156 and the October 22 low itself at 2137 plus target X5 which I will elaborate upon shortly. Overall the market is still in between the middle time below currently at 2108 and the upper time above currently at 2258 of the late February to late April bearish Andrews pitchfork which is highlighted in bright red on my daily chart. In a, big, a bigger picture, we have a number of things going on all at the same time, and also a number of things achieved as well. First off, there is the big November 22 to May 23 head and shoulders top, which initially looked like a possible continuation pattern, but had seemingly turned into a topping pattern before threatening to become a continuation pattern again. This topping pattern has a primary target X down in the 2058 zone, with a harder, much harder to reach secondary target X1 down in the 1858 zone. Next there is still one of the two descending triangles operation with their targets below. This one is from the late February to May action. Uh, this utilizes the neckline of the same big head and shoulders top which is colored in purple as its base. Currently uh, this uh, uses the neckline of the same big head and shoulders top which is colored in purple. And its base is at 2273. And the late February to date downtrend also colored in purple higher up and that's colored, uh, uh, currently at 24.35, which gave a primary target in the 21.78 zone and a secondary harder to reach target X3 down in the 20.88 zone. The primary target here had already been achieved. Then there is target X5, the one I mentioned at the start. This is the secondary target for the small head and shoulders top pattern between late March and early May. It's not a big pattern and you may easily miss it in all the mess that's on my daily chart. But it all leaves a question I've asked here and one that seems to have been open for a long, long time. The latest version of this question, because it has morphed itself over time, is whether the whole action since mid-April has become a possible rectangle pattern. This week the answer seems to be on verging on the yes, but it's not wholly definitive one, not yet. We'll have to wait and see what the market continues to do around the 2200 area. Now so far today, a follow-on lower to yesterday's action, below the 21.56 support, but not by much. Thank you for listening. This short version broadcast gives essential market patterns and consequences. Please be aware of the risk disclaimer posted both at the front and the back of this broadcast. Copyright is Eddie Topic and ADM Investor Services International Limited. And here comes the final important bit.